Okay, so a quick video here today on the 6S Micro, and I've been doing some videos on the viability of uh, 6S motors on a micro build, which is basically 3 inches or under. I did a video on the 1306 2700KV Emacs motor, and also an Emacs, I think it was 1108 4500 or 4000 KV motor. And, you know, the results were kind of underwhelming, not that exciting. Um, mainly because when you're carrying around a giant 6S battery, you need a motor that's going to be able to overcome that extra weight. So you get, you know, basically, this is a 550 GNB, and I, you know, if you watched this previous videos, my, basically my discussion boiled down to, yeah, you can go to a smaller battery, but, uh, the smaller batteries are going to sag more, so I think this is going to be like the small 6S battery you're going to be able to fly in a micro. But anyway, I did find a motor here, well I was sent a motor uh, by Hobbymate, this is the uh, 1505 2900KV motor. And if you've been following me on Instagram, you've seen photos of this in close-ups on a posting, and I'll uh, link that posting down in the description if you want to see photos of the motor in a little more detail. Uh, as of today, the motor is still a prototype, it's not available for sale yet, I'm still testing it, but I thought I'd get a video out there to sort of show you guys what's potentially I think where success might be heading for micros and I think that this one this motor here is more impressive than the 1306 motor mainly because of the larger stator size in terms of the width so the 15 size versus the 13 size um, I think that that gives it a little bit more low end grunt to be able to manage the weight of the large Texas battery on this 3 inch prop and I'm flying with the uh, Gemfan 3052 prop so, I'm just going to show you the demo. Um, obviously the motor is still, a pro I guess they're still working on it. Uh, a couple things are probably going to change. But um, I'm going to give you an idea of how this performs compared to the 1306. So go and watch the other video with the 1306 motor and compare it to this one. You'll see this one I think is uh, definitely an improvement over the 1306. So, uh, I think that if you're considering a 6S motor for a uh, 3 inch micro, something of this size like a 1505 or 1506 might be better low KV, uh, under, this is under 3000 KV, so anyway, I'll go ahead and show you some flight footage now. Okay, so let's see how this uh, 6S micro flies. I haven't changed the PIDs since the last 6S test on the 1306 motor. Do a full throttle. Wow. This motor is really smooth. I like it. It's definitely more responsive on the low end of the throttle, which is what I would expect with the wider stator size. Oh, and it's sucking down the battery juice. But, yeah, it doesn't need a lot of tuning, it seems. You don't see any oscillations, don't hear anything either. A little bit of uh, prop wash there on that hard turn. There we go, I got it up. If you turn real hard, it'll come out. Again. Wow, it just shot to the moon there. That was pretty nuts. Yeah, it's uh, pretty impressive for 6S on a little micro. Way more lively than the 1306 motor. The top end's a little bit less than the uh, I would expect on a, you know, just a little bit shorter stator, 1505 versus 1306.
crazy. And actually the battery sag's not too bad. Sagged out at the beginning there, but it's holding steady at about 3.6. Starting to fall off a little bit. Three minutes of flight time, pretty good. Still, oh, I got a little battery warning finally. 3.45, yep, time to land. Okay, it's not happy. The <laughs> battery's probably pretty hot a bit. Okay, so this is the little test here of the 6S motor uh, prototype. You'll see more videos on this one coming pretty soon, so stay tuned.